Hey kids, it's Mr. Glenn here. We are going to add some rain to this side of the picture. This is what the grass is for. So in your pack, import from a file, same again, we've got some rain. So it looks quite dark over here and we can stretch this out a bit and just bring this over here. Now the darkness will actually go away because we can just go and change the opacity slightly and you'll notice that the rain just kind of shines through. So I'm going to go and put this at about 60% like that and then what we're going to do is just stretch this slightly a little bit further out, out of the image, get rid of the marching ants and this time add an eraser and this will actually be, actually be fine. Bring this up to about 50% and you want to get rid of this uh, harsh line. So it's going to take a little bit of doing but it's fine. And then just bring that round so the rain actually is going diagonal. Next job. We don't want to go too uh, harsh on this. We want to go and duplicate this layer so we can duplicate the darkness here and we can go and use the blue move tool like we've done before. Bring this over slightly. It's not quite dark enough yet because we're starting to feather feather this edge. So if I just click over here, you'll see that if I can move this layer around underneath, I'm just going to make that a little bit further out and stretch this back like so. Go into my top layer, and so I'm going to start moving the top layer here. And it's not quite dark enough yet, and it's not quite reaching the top of the page. I'm going to go and duplicate this layer. So I've got three rains. And if I move this one over, we can start to now see this feathering effect as it starts to go into the corner. I'm going to add one more, and I'm going to just bring that over to the edge like that. So now I've got this feathered edge, this blending of several lighter edges, and you can see in the thumbnails just here where they're going. Next job is going to be adding some text. Good luck!